All right, well, right now we're putting together the pieces for a, a dog agility course. Um, this area is going to be specifically for dogs that are dealing with high arousal, and, uh, high energy issues, uh, fearful dogs, um, dogs that have maybe issues with um, compulsive disorders, giving them some, something that they can actually focus on, um, building confidence, releasing energy. Um, and so it's going to be this area here as well as the back area there for dogs to be able to engage in. We'll also be doing dog play groups in this area. And so for dogs that are getting a little stir crazy in the shelter or who just need a little more of an energy release, we'll be giving them an opportunity to come out here and engage with similar sized dogs, um, with experienced trainers that can actually work with them and help them to play in an appropriate manner. Uh, because some dogs come to the shelter, don't know how to play appropriately. Um, they're not necessarily dog aggressive, but they need a little help in, in kind of learning manners. So we'll be able to do all of that in this area here. So this started shortly before our trip to the ASPCA, um, back in, February, I want to say, and so we started talking about it and then it became kind of a long-term goal for us um, and we were able to get some uh, help with donors to actually purchase all the equipment, um, but it's been a, a, a slow process as we've discussed what we needed, where we're going to put it, um, how we're going to get the money, how we're going to do the training, how we're going to do it safely, um, and so this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a while. Um, this is fantastic. It's, it's going to be a, a new way that we as a behavior department can actually work with these animals and provide them something that a lot of places can't provide. And so we're going to be able to actually move them in a different direction, providing something totally new, engaging them in play, engaging them in their world um, in a very natural way. Something that dogs really need. These are the parts that we have we're putting together here. We are going to have a small landing there in the center, and that's actually going to be in this small park here, as well as the little bone steps in the front. Um, and that's going to be kind of an area for training, as well as for a little bit of agility. Um, and then we're going to have everything that you see here kind of in a circle around the yard here so that dogs will have an opportunity to run through as, as you do on TV and you see those obstacle courses. But they'll also have an, a center area where they can actually play with each other or just get away from the other dogs and de-stress. Um, and there'll be some areas here like under the bridge and in the tunnel where they can actually get out of the heat as well. Playing actually helps in a lot of different ways. It can help to de-stress, um, but it also, playing is a basic function of all animals. It's a way that we engage with the world and learn um, how to be appropriate, um, how to um, be that particular species. Yeah. And so giving them an opportunity to play, I kind of think of it as a back door to training that I can get you to play even if you're scared or you're uncomfortable, I can get you to train. I can get you to start engaging your environment and then we actually start making progress. They build confidence as they maneuver all these different obstacles or they engage successfully with other dogs. Um, they become more confident uh, and, and are better adoption candidates because they're not hiding in the back of a kennel. They're coming up to approach.